Hello and welcome back again to Abby's Fusion Cooking Channel where good food can set you in a good mood. So today I'll be cooking with just three main ingredients. Yes, and I'm not even lying. I tried this recipe out by using the simple ingredients and it turned out so good that everyone in my home was asking for more and I'm not even exaggerating about that so I thought I would share this with you all right so if you are ready to get to know about this let's start with the ingredients so I've got the main three main ingredients one of them is the sausages so I used a mixture of the spiced pork sausages and the normal um, pork sausages. So the one without any spices in it. The second main ingredient is 600 grams of pasta. You can use any pasta of your choice. I've got the secondary ingredients, which are four cloves of garlic, a teaspoon of table salt, 15 grams of rock salt, cook with the pasta one onion and the third main ingredient which is the courgette so the only ingredients that need to equate to each other is the pasta and the courgette right I've also got the black pepper and olive oil so the past as I was saying before the pasta and the courgette should be roughly the same weight so the courgettes weigh almost the same as the pasta which is 600 grams so I will um, firstly cut the head of the courgette and then I'll use this side of the shredder to grate all my courgette. So I'll do this with all my courgette so I have this finished result. I will now cut and chop the garlic into very small pieces. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please click on the subscription button below. Just click on subscribe. Please like, please share, and please do comment. <laughs> so this is how I take um, away the skin of the sausage. So I'm just placing the knife um, right underneath the skin and I'll cut um, it through to the other end and then it makes it easier to peel it off as you can see I'll do the same with all the sausages and then cut them into smaller pieces I would add about two tablespoons of olive oil into the pan And then add my chopped onions and garlic to the oil. Mm -hmm. Do you need any garlic in the beer? Olive oil, no. Uh -huh. Stir it and just let it saute for just a minute. Just a minute, yes. I don't want the garlic to burn, it will be sour. So I'm now adding the sausages. Stir everything together to make sure the sausage absorbs the flavors of the garlic and the onions. Mm -hmm. And the garlic, you know, and we're going to be cut sausage, you So after stirring it all together, you can now cover it. And leave it to cook 
for four minutes so after four minutes you come back and check on it stir it again cover it and leave it to cook for an additional four minutes then after a total of eight minutes of cooking so they've cooked for eight minutes the sausages they can come out so all the juices from the sausages has been left in the pan so what we're going to do now is to place in the shredded courgettes I wouldn't add any water to this add everything and mix everything up to make sure the courgettes absorbs the juices um, from the sausage mm -hmm. it's one if he sausage no no aha ah a catch in sin no no yep i said any courgettes no a kafra kama we can now cover it up and leave it to steam for five minutes um water on the fire and i'm now adding my 15 grams of salt so i've got three and a half liters over there of water so after five minutes i've come back to check on my courgette Mm -hmm. Can you see water coming out of the courgette as well? Mm -hmm. So the water needs to come out from the courgette till it softens up. So I'm not going to cover it up again this time because um, I want to the water to come out of the courgette so I'm not going to cover it with a lid anymore. What I'm going to do is to keep stirring it for 10 minutes on medium heat. Yes, without any um, cover or lid. So I'll stir this for 10 minutes continuously and leave it to cook for 10 more minutes till the water from the courgette drains out hmm. i can now place my pasta in the salted boiling water stir it and then cover it up to boil So as you can see, the courgette has cooked in a total a minute of uh, 25 and most of the water from the courgette has disappeared as you can see. That's why I could add my salt. So the black pepper can go in now as well. Just a little bit of black pepper not that much mm -hmm. so the pasta is also ready now it has cooked for eight minutes and it's not too soft just how i want it to be so the water will be drained out and the pasta will be set aside whilst i place the cooked sausages together with the courgettes in the pan. Stir everything together. As you can see it's dry. So I'm going to add about one and a half um, ladle of pasta 
faster water. Yes, yeah, so I'm using the big spoon, the ladle to do that to the sauce because I don't want it to remain dry. I just need a bit of uh, moisture in there. So don't throw your pasta water away. It's gold, <laughs> telling you. <laughs> just leave it on the side. You might need it. Yes. So right away, I can now add my cooked pasta to the store, to the sauce, sorry, and stir everything together. See, it doesn't even take long. A very quick recipe. One that children and adults would enjoy equally. Hmm. This simple meal is so delicious. You wouldn't believe me until you try preparing it yourself. It may come be biafra. Aha. So they may yen. Sapa pepper now so be to my yen. So I'll add some more black pepper to it. To give the, the food a bit of a kick. <laughs> and then mix it together again. Aha. Uh -huh. The food is ready now. Don't let it stay on the fire for long. Because you don't want the pasta to be too soggy, you know. Mm -hmm. So, folks, I had to taste this food. Abba, it was just irresistible. Hmm, let me see. Oh, it's so delicious. It's so, so delicious, I'm telling you. If you are vegetarian and you don't want, obviously, um, you don't want the sausages in there, you are good to, to cook it without the sausages and it will still come out really nice. Ah, in any way, there's simple crab. Simple crab. You wouldn't spend a lot of time, you wouldn't spend a lot of money. And it's so simple and you can feed four to five people um, with the measurements I used. You can feed four to five people in your homes. So why not try it? So I added a bit of Parmesan cheese to mine. This is optional. If you like Parmesan cheese, you can add it to yours. So that's it with this meal. I hope you try it at home. And until we meet again next time. Please take care and bye bye.